In addition to impromptu meetings, we will, of course, have a need for scheduled meetings. The first place that we can do this from is the calendar tab. And now that we're on the calendar tab, first we can take a look at how to navigate around it. Maybe we are planning for uh, a future week, a meeting that we're going to need to hold. We can go forward and backward using these arrows so I can take a look at next week here. Uh, if I need to come back to uh, the current week, I can click on this link today. That'll bring me back to today and the current week. Uh, also, you can click this drop down here where it says the current month and you can go ahead to next month and select the appropriate week. Maybe we know that we're going to have to have a meeting on the last week of August. So I can quickly jump there and you can decide what way you want to view your calendar. Do you want it to be just a single day or the work week or the entire week, including the weekends? Once you have it set up the way that you like, then you can schedule that meeting by coming to the top right. We have the new meeting button. You can click on that to schedule a meeting. The drop down here will also give you that option to schedule a meeting. But one tip, just a, a shortcut so that you don't have to, once you come in there, choose the date, choose the time, is start from the day and time that you know you want to schedule that meeting for. If this meeting is for today and I want it to be from four to five, I'll go into today, I'll come down to four, and by default, it's going to start off and give you a 30 minute window, but I can actually click and drag and now I'm covering from four to five. So as I release my mouse, it opens up this new meeting, this new meeting that I've scheduled for this afternoon and notice today's date from four to five. So a little bit less for us to fill out here. Uh, some of the fields that you want to give attention to, of course, you want to give your meeting a title. So I'm just going to call this team check-in. Uh, I can add required attendees. For now, I will just add Carlos to this meeting. I know he's definitely going to have to be in it. I might have to come back after and add more. You can also add optional attendees. Uh, they won't be required, but they can join if they're able to. Uh, you can choose to make this a recurring meeting, maybe weekly or you can do a custom recurrence. And when we're scheduling meetings from within Teams, we can actually associate it with a specific channel. So clicking in here, add channel, I can decide what team and channel I would like this meeting to occur in. So I can scroll down to my operations team and I can embed this meeting within the HR site rollout. We have to schedule it within Teams in order to be able to connect it to a channel. Once I've done that, I can then provide details down in here so everybody knows what the meeting will be about. Uh, in addition, if you're dealing with inviting people in your own organization, the Scheduling Assistant tab is incredibly helpful at the top here. You're going to be able to see when you click on this and make sure that you've selected a good time for this meeting. It will show you the calendar, and so I see that uh, Carlos doesn't have anything scheduled for that time, so we should be good to hold it at this time, but this might uh, help you to choose a, a better time that will work for everybody. Uh, once you're happy with everything that you've filled out, uh, another option that you can choose up top here is you can choose how to show while you're in this meeting. We talked about the presence indicator. We can choose to show as busy, if we want, we can choose to show as free. Maybe this is more of an informal meeting, but we still want to be accessible. Uh, so once we are happy with everything, we can click send. That invitation will go off to uh, Carlos because he's the only one I've invited to this point. And that appointment will be blocked in in my calendar. Uh, so that's one way that we can schedule a meeting. We can also schedule a meeting from a chat. So. If I'm having my conversation with Ellen and we have been talking about meeting and I want to put that on the calendar, I can come down underneath the compose box here and click on the schedule a meeting icon. And this is a nice shortcut because of course she's added as a required attendee and then I can go ahead and fill out all of those same fields and send it off and I have my meeting there with Ellen. From Teams, 
I scheduled that meeting from the calendar within the operations team and the HR site rollout channel. And so we can actually see it right here on the post tab. The most recent post, here it says that Ethan Kane scheduled a meeting and that's for today at 4 p.m. So by adding that channel to that meeting, I make sure that everybody who's in this channel will be able to see the meeting and be able to join it. Also, before the meeting even begins, people can start to have a conversation around the meeting. This reply button here will allow us to start talking before we meet, continue the conversation as the meeting's ongoing, and then that meeting chat will still be stored in the channel after it ends. We also, because Teams is a part of Microsoft 365, have the ability to schedule a meeting from Outlook. So if I'm working in my Outlook and I'm in the calendar tab here, at the top, I have the button New Teams Meeting. So I click this and basically what it does is it creates that new invitation here. We have an email being composed in the body of it. We have uh, filled out here already the Microsoft Teams meeting information. Now again, because we're not in Teams, we're not gonna be able to connect this to a channel. But this is a great way to set up a meeting maybe for external contacts to send out that professional invitation. Maybe they don't even use the desktop client, but they'll be able to use the join info here to join through the browser. Similar information, we can choose required and optional attendees, when we wanna hold the meeting, if it should be recurring, and then when we're all set, we're just gonna go ahead and send this off. So with those meetings that you need to have, scheduled meetings, Again, you have so many options to do it. Find the way that works best for you and your team.